23 years old female status post lab banned in 2010. It was removed in 2013 for intractable nausea and vomiting. Later to that, she had a sleeve gastrectomy. However, her symptoms persisted. She was referred to our institution for a second opinion. We obtained a swallow study showing sleeve twisting and narrowing. She underwent elective diagnostic laparoscopy and found to have stricture at the incisural level. Intraoperative EGD with balloon dilatation was performed and three-point fixation gastropexy to diaphragm and momentum was done. Follow-up swallow study showed resolution of the sleeve twisting and narrowing. Six months later, she presented with dysphagia, recurrent nausea and vomiting. A gastrograph and swallow study was obtained at that time and it was positive for sleeve twisting again. patient was taken to operation room for diagnostic laparoscopy, possible conversion to a gastric bypass. We inspected the gastric sleeve and it assumed 90 degree angulation. We didn't appreciate any uh, adhesions or scar tissue uh, causing external compression at the incisura or causing the angulation. We occluded the pylorus and an endoscope was placed relatively easily through the uh, sleeve. However, once we insufflated with air, we realized that the sleeve assumes a corkscrew appearance with marked angulation at the incisural level. So we decided uh, to proceed with conversion to a gastric bypass. So endoscope was retreated after decompressing the sleeve. Then around 4 cm from the gastric uh, esophageal junction, we dissect along the lesser curvature with a blunt technique to create a window behind the gastric sleeve. Then an endostabler with a blue load was fired across to create the gastric pouch. The distal stable line along distal stomach was oversewn with vicryl. Following that, transverse mesocolon was reflected, ligament of trice was identified, and the small intestine was ran 125 centimeters from the ligament of trites. Then another endostabler with a white load was fired across to create paleopancreatic lamp and the rule lamp. Then the root of the mesentery was taken down using harmonic clamp. Following that, both rule lamp and paleopancreatic lamp were aligned side to side and sutured with endostitch. Then two introtomies were created using harmonics. Through these, the jaws of endostabler with a white load was placed and fired to create the JJ anastomosis. The common intraotomy after that was sewn with absorbable suture in a running manner using endostitch. After that, we created a window in the transverse mesocolon so we can place the rule lamp in a retrocolic retrogastric fashion. Then the transverse colon and retroomendum were placed downwards. Now we could see the rule lamp in the left upper quadrant. Then we saw the rule lamp and the gastric pouch side to side including the stable line as a reinforcement. After that using harmonics we created a gastrotomy and uh, entrotomy around two centimeters in length for each. Then we started performing the anastomosis in a hands-on manner using absorbable sutures. First we suture the posterior wall starting from the distal angle and in a running manner all the way to the more proximal end of the anastomosis. Then in a similar manner the anterior wall of the anastomosis was sutured using a similar suture material. Uh, during that process we requested from anesthesia to place an injury tube across the anastomosis which works as like a stent 
and help guide the surgeon uh, and avoid suturing the posterior wall by accident. After that, the rule limb and the gastric pouch were sewn in a, another layer to reinforce anastomosis, so the end result will be hand sewn anastomosis in a two layered manner. And before retrieving the NG tube, uh, we clamped the rule limb and air was insufflated to make sure it's and the smooth is tight with no leakage. And at the end, uh, we suture the mesenteric defect between the rule lamp and the transverse mesocolon. We utilize endo stitch for that, and our preference is for non absorbable suture material to make sure that the defect doesn't open again in later years. Uh, we suture from both sides and make sure we are not occluding the rule limb. Patient read up so well, transfer to recovery, and next day patient had a swallow study with gastrographin showing no leak or obstruction. She started on the liquid diet and she was tolerating it and so far she had no recurrence of her symptoms.